What's up everyone? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. So I'm at the Wolf's Den training some Ninja Warrior stuff. So uh, yeah, let's get started and learn all the things to compete. Wolf's Den is a Ninja Warrior themed uh, training facility, right? Yes, that's right. I was in two seasons of it myself. Uh, didn't go as well because I didn't have a gym to train at specifically for it. But this is actually pretty close to me. So what do you guys uh, do for people who want to be a Ninja Warrior? Yeah, we do um, all sorts of obstacle course racing, training, um, specifically Ninja Warrior and Spartan are the two main. Oh cool, uh, Spartan, yeah, I've done yeah, one of those too. They have obstacles, so anything that has obstacles, uh, we teach you how to overcome them and get through them most efficiently. All right guys, so we're in the gym right now. Uh, we're gonna warm up just for a moment. What do you like to do for warming up? Uh, we take, at the beginning of each class, we take 10 minutes to just do a full body stretch. Legs, arms, back, neck. We go gotcha. through like top to bottom. Nice. Uh, make sure everybody's uh, warm. We do like uh, different jumping jacks just to get the heart ready. Yeah, get that blood flow. So guys, warming up is really important when you're starting a workout. So what you want to do depends on what you feel tight in, what you feel you need to move in. And a lot of it, you want to make sure you warm up the muscles you're going to use. Uh, what do you want to start with? You want to maybe salmon ladder? Show us that. So Hunter, uh, this is the salmon ladder, correct? Yes. All right, so you guys may have seen this in Ninja Warrior. It's kind of like the staple. Um, if you watch Arrow, Stephen Amell's character did this in his little secret bunker base thing too. Do uh, you want to demonstrate for us? Ooh, switch grip, nice. Yeah, that's what, that's what I was going to mention. So I've only ever really done salmon ladder with neutral grip, um, so I'll try switch grip. I'm going to fall over. <laughs> That's why we warm up, guys. <laughs> All right, so I want to try to redeem myself going down again. I'm going to start just one kip, though, instead of from the top. Um, I've just never tried it. It's scary, OK? Leave me alone. Uh, ah, I did it. All right, let's go over some of the footwork stuff. So this is usually like the beginning of a Ninja Warrior course. But it's kind of like doing the tic-tac stuff. Um, the wood, you're not going to slip on. But um, it's also, you don't want to go too high. The higher up you are, the, uh, the further the reach is, as opposed to being down here. Unless you have really good middle school. Bigger steps. Uh, gotcha. So I got to come over here. Yeah. All right, do it one more time. I'm going to see if I can just like follow in your wake. All right. So this big step. <laughs> then this side, the uh, steps are closer together. Sure. This one, you have a double step on one side, and they're wider apart. Look at that guy. All right. right. So yeah, basically on the show, people think we get time to practice or something. We don't. Literally, like you mentioned, you see the course, that's your first time doing it. Now, people will build courses in their backyard. And I've trained on one for like a day, but having an actual gym where you can like change the setup and basically try to predict all the different movement patterns that they may throw at you. And a lot of it, like you build your basic strength and your jumping ability, your air awareness, a lot of it's forearms and shoulders, um, you'll give yourself a better chance. But of course, there's always staples like the salmon ladder, the warped wall, um, some kind of tic-tac thing we were doing earlier. You wanna show us this guy? Any tips before we go? Yeah, so what I like to do on the show, they give you a 10-foot run-up. Mm. Um, we could try that, it's about right here. It's usually about three steps on the flat before you get to the wall, and then it's three to four steps running up. Okay. You really wanna keep your shoulders back, chest up, so that you do run up. A lot of people, they run into it, gotcha. and they end up just face planting. Nice. But, uh, I'm gonna get hurt. <laughs> This is 14 and a half feet. Dang. Okay, how tall is it normally on the show? I don't even remember. Anymore. 14 and a half. Oh, so that's yeah. okay. That's so this one. is the uh, size of the wall on the show. Okay, and this is like the baby one to start on? Yeah, so we can warm up on like the, that's a nine foot, 11 foot, and 13 foot. Okay. And then the uh, the actual size of the show. Really nice. So, we. Okay. Oh yeah. Everyone's like, Brennan, you're athletic. Sure, but the thing that people don't realize a lot, the reason people mess up on stuff isn't lack of ability, it's fear. Hopefully it doesn't hold me back, but this isn't a fun thing to bail on, because yeah. you do get caught in weird ways, so. Yeah. Yeah, I'll try it, and as long as he saves my life, we'll be good. Three, two, one. Oh yeah, easy. All right, okay. Yes! Nice. Oh, there we go. How do I get down? 
Um, all right, so we've gone over a lot of basics. What other things? Like, you want to show us some of the... Uh, oh, yeah, the rings. Lachets, or swinging or rings. Yes, yeah. right. So, to lache is to go from one object, a swinging object, whether it's a bar or this is just like a trapeze, almost, mm -hmm. um, to another through the air. All right, show us the advanced lay. Let's go. <laughs> So see how he kicks, he leads with his legs and his hips, and then he brings his arms in. Unless he needs to be fully extended, depending on the distance. Nice, ooh, dodge that bar. Reorient yourself. So this one, you have to change your grip, so he's doing palms down. Now he's going to have to switch to a neutral prone grip to grab these, which is a lot of... Ugh, so close! Brick radialis activation. I guess I should try. So just like the show, I haven't done this full thing before. He let me swing from there to there. So it's almost like yeah. I've never done it. <laughs> so you swung and you grabbed it. Yeah, nice. I caught it like this. That's scary. Just really pop your hips and get your chest to it so you can catch it here and engage. Yeah, that's so bad. Swing in a straight line. Yeah, that's what <laughs> I, I started to fall off too. With the different grips, and depending on the way your hand is facing, you're actually gonna engage different muscles in your arm. Obviously this is biceps and forearms, but if your arms are turned this way, this is more brachialis, which is actually a muscle under your biceps. Um, I'm actually gonna make a video about training that to help make your bicep look bigger. But anywho, um, it also works more of your forearms. So if you do hammer curls, I find that more to be similar um, with the grip sometimes versus here because a ninja warrior we're usually not grabbing like this if anything it's here or here or here so uh, a lot of forearm brachioradialis as well so you want to show us and then i'll follow you yeah definitely specifically on this one uh the rings are going to these ones are locked in but there are some rings that you're going to have to unhook and hook to the next one so great it's going to add a little rock climbing definitely helps so right here this is the ring that you're going to want to unhook take it off of this re-hook it here same with this one. And then for this part right here, you want to go two hands at the same time. Catch uh, this because it, it rolls. And then kind of just shimmy it. And then you take this one off. Oh, okay. you're small step. I get it. Swing from one hand. So pegboards are deceptive. Yeah. I've seen people do them multiple ways. Some people do them a lot down above. Others hang, others have this mid flex which just kills your forearms as you go. Yeah. What do you recommend? If you're moving along a flat plane, kind of like there's, some, uh, there's a board over there where it's just flat, I do prefer the dead hang. Sure. It saves your arm strength and you just go from, like you just unhook, hook it in, unhook, hook it in. Yeah. If you are going up, you will have to do more of a pull up. There is a way to just hang, but it depends on how much swing you could get. Yeah, and then you kind of just use momentum to carry you. So for something like this, um, I would probably like do like a pull up, hold up, hug like that one that's in, pull out this one, just quickly get it up. Gotcha. And then kind of like hang if I need to take a rest. Yeah, so you're not doing one arm pull ups, but you're kind of locking out in the one arm at the top of your, uh, your movement yes. so you can free up that other arm. Yeah. All right, after you. So we can use these uh, to kind of get ourselves up. Sure. Grab these, and then once we're on. And again, you don't have to go hole by hole. You can reach if you have the room on the show too. Because different people have different arm lengths, so they give you a chance to uh, choose your path a little bit. I'll demonstrate more of a, a dead hang approach. Oh yeah, I see you switched like your grip that. too. Nice. Do something like that. See, I've never done something like that. I, I would go linear, but reaching under did yeah. allow him to swing through. So again, reaching further if you want. Again, I can dead hang if I want. 
I noticed he reached for one hole, but realized that he had a longer reach, so he just decided to skip it and go as far as he could. True story. <laughs> The other thing to think about when you're doing these, if you don't have the peg all the way in, there's a chance when you grab it that it can either snap or if you're really not in, it can actually fall out, which can make you fall, which is not useful when you're trying to win a course. So you really have to take the time to feel it, play it all the way to make sure you're secure. All right, so this is the rope climb. Obviously it's a rope, you can climb it many different ways. This is something I'm a little more comfortable with because of circus, it actually is pretty similar. But uh, this will probably be the last thing we're gonna demonstrate today just because we're running out of time and battery life. So Hunter, give us uh, the and tips. It, and it's actually a, a perfect one to end on because in the Ninja Warrior competition, this is the final thing that stands between you and one million dollars. <laughs> so, um, their rope is much bigger than this one. This one is only 20 feet tall. Okay. And um, how big is theirs? You know? Theirs is 75 feet. So we gotta Don't find this three that. and it, some change. Yeah, I believe it's 75 feet yeah. in like 30 seconds. That's pretty fast. It's crazy. All right. I also might be wrong on that, so don't quote me. Possible. <laughs> um, but we're gonna climb this as fast as we can. There's a lot of different techniques. Um, the one that I'm gonna use uh, is like you wrap your leg around and you step on your foot. You wanna, right now, my feet are holding my whole body up. It's not really on my arms. Sure. It saves your arms. All my arms have to do is do one little pull up and then I can like get my one arm One little pull up, that's all you need. And you just repeat that motion all the way up. So this is where you need to pay attention to whatever the obstacle is, knowing how much strength you have left in your tank. Because like you mentioned, this is at the end of the course. Although we just did a bunch of other things, we're resting between, there's no clock running. So we've gained some of our strength back. But if I just did all of that and then had to do this, I probably wouldn't pike climb. But since I didn't, I'm gonna pike climb. Because why not? All right, see how fast I can go. Ready? Get some core work in there too. So if people want to train with you doing Ninja Warrior, um, where can they find you guys? Um, do you offer coaching or is it just show up and do your own thing? Yes, we have classes um, from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. We also have a 5 a.m. and 6 a.m. class for the early birds. Not me. Uh, Monday through Friday, open on the weekends as well with open gym where you could just play. Sure. We're in San Bernardino, California, and you can look us up on Instagram at thewolfsten underscore Inland Empire. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. And guys, thank you again for hanging out with us. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and check out the Wolf's Den and tell them I sent you. You probably won't get a discount, but you should come anyway and support. So. <laughs> Okay. <laughs>